Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Sweat and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Today we are going to be reviewing a gameplay where I dropped 17 kills and over 4,000 damage. And I just want to kind of go over my decisions during the match and hopefully in the future this will help each and every one of you make better decisions uh, along with your own gameplays. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video of course. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, I quickly want to interrupt here. You guys will see me switching out the wingman for the L-Star, and you're probably like, what? The L-Star? Why would you take the L-Star over the wingman? Well, that is because my accuracy is dog trash with the wingman, and I can't absolutely hit water on a lake with the wingman right now. So I'm opting for two automatic weapons. It is is really your preference. So if you want to take the wingman, then be my guest or a single shot gun. And you feel confident in your accuracy. As you can see, I'm switching it out for a Havoc now. Havoc R99, two of the best weapons in the game. And yeah, that's really all preference to single shot guns, but I am more comfortable with the automatics. I can see it now. Sweat, your Havoc does not move, my brother. And that is because I am holding down on the right stick on console. And I'm pretty sure on mouse and keyboard, if I were to be playing on PC, I would just hold down on my mouse and it would control the recoil of the Havoc very nicely. And right here, I'm going to drop on these guys because I know that they are distracted by my Wraith teammate. Right here, I'm shooting this guy on the side and then right over to the other Pathfinder. And that is because my other teammate is right behind me so I know I have backup and I know I can push for the easy three piece little squad wipe. Thanks for that. Patching myself up. Extended light mag here. Level two. Looking for some loot here. Contact with target. Contact with hostile. Repairing. All right, everybody, after we get this syringe off, I am going to start talking at absolute godspeed, so bear with me. We're melting this guy with the R99 here, and then this guy from the left is absolutely lasering us, so I decide to get up on top of this building. We now have high ground. We are shooting down on this kid, and he cannot see us. Obviously, he is just running for our life, and we barely cannot kill this guy with the Havoc, and now it is a 2v1 scenario. My two teammates are down. I'm just trying to shield up really quickly. I'm going to try to sneak a Thermite into this window down here, try to get the easy kill, but that does not end up happening. I don't even think it made it in there. But the Havoc recoil control, pulling down on the right stick once again from far away, absolutely crispy smooth. And right here, my teammate is pinging this guy down low. He absolutely bops me. He bops me, okay? Now, he is thankfully blocking off the stairway. I now have high ground up top. And he blocks off the stairway well enough for me to get the kill. Now we are sitting pretty with six kills and eleven squads left remaining. Patching myself up. Ten seconds. The ring is fairly close. Need to recharge my shields. I can see that the ring is moving on the map. Wingman here. 
contact. Alright guys, so I know there are two teams fighting up here, so I'm going to quickly just grapple on up and come in with that clean third party. I mean, third partying is a really effective way to get kills in this game, and it is severely underlooked, in my opinion, of ways to especially gain points in ranked, so keep that in mind if you are playing ranked lobbies, but you can see there was really no risk right there. I came up right behind the third party team, or we were the third party team rather, so... I'm not too worried about it right there. And I'm really hesitant to slide down the stairs here because I didn't hear the guy at first. But it turns out he is outside with my teammate. He cleans him up and that is going to put us at 9 kills right now. I need light ammo. Might be something good this way. Who's ready to fly on a zip line? I am. All right, so right here, I hear a res, and I know it is extremely close to us at train station. So I just want to be really clear here. When you're going for kills off the off the revive, off the respawn beacon, and people are dropping down, make sure the other teammates aren't focus firing you like both at the same time. So right here, you can see this guy drops alone, and I don't see any of his teammates around. So we're just going to quickly spray that guy. That's going to be an easy kill for us. And by the way, you can see I am looking all over the place for his other teammates in case they're going to try to shoot at me. I'm failing grapples all over the place. But once I get up here, right, we're going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop right here. And we land up top. So once that guy finishes off the kill, we can see a guy flying in. And this is going to be one of his teammates, one of two of his teammates. I think they both actually flew in. So they must have ran all the way over to, uh, I don't even know what that place is called, but it's right to the right of train station. And you can see both of his teammates right here. I know I can't kill this guy, so I'm going to grapple up, get the high ground advantage, and my teammate is going to go at this guy. So I decide, why not jump down? I know he's low, and we're just going to send it full send right here, m maybe get the kill, and we end up hitting just enough shots to get the kill and now we are sitting at a nice 12 kills with three squads left So right here, I see this guy on the side of the mountain, and I know he has a good enough angle to escape enough of my bullets to where I can't kill him from that angle. So I'm going to jump down, go over here to the right side where I can see his whole body, and we just thankfully hit barely enough bullets to down this guy, and now it is a 2v2 situation. I'm fairly confident, and we're pushing over. They all have gold shields apparently, right? But we end up switching to our secondary weapon. Instead of reloading the Havoc, he would have had time to heal up. We end up killing him with the R99, so that was a, uh, a good job on our part, not having to reload the Havoc and just switching weapons. Always want to do that whenever, you, whenever possible. Now, we know there is a team behind us because they just threw the caustic gas, 
and they are right down our throats right now. This guy is trying to hammer point me, and I'll get back to you guys in just a second for this final fight. Unfortunately, my teammate is going to go down here and leave me in a 1v3 situation that absolutely lasts forever. Just a spoiler. Alright, I can absolutely, for the life of me, not finish one of these guys off because these three are nut-tugging each other, which they should be doing. I mean, you should be sticking together for... I mean, it's, it is a 3v1, though, but they don't know. They don't know what kind of 3v1 team they're going up against, right? So we're running really low on ammo, really low. So we're going to just grab some Havoc ammo, and we're really low on light ammo, so this is not looking good for us at all. So I decide to reposition because that is not in the final zone and that spot was just not working out for me now thankfully i am pathfinder so grappling away and getting away from these guys shouldn't be too hard of a task and you guys are going to see how i play this 1v3 scenario here and i hope you guys enjoy this is how i basically farmed like 2000 damage on this last team i guarantee you alone so this is going to be an exciting fight So after we finally knock this guy again, I don't want him to get up for the life of me. So I'm going to get this guy on the left of me, off of me. He needs to stop shooting at me right now. He is super low on health, and this is my best chance to push, okay? I know this guy just got rezzed right under me, and he is low. And then I'm going to go try to get two of them down. This is going to be the first time that I will be getting two of them down. And we have two knocks. Gold shields, I mean, this is is basically it right we got this wrapped up we should have no problems here and i hear this wraith going for the sneaky little res behind the fence let the floodgates open we are pushing this no matter what thankfully we knock the wraith with the gold armor right here and this one little man has a self res and that is going to do it i think we honestly played that situation perfectly i know we were running a lot uh, to get away from them, but honestly, we were repositioning and giving ourselves the best chance to survive. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. It's been Sweat, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.